What's good, YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. I don't have a project video for you today, but what I am gonna do is I'm going to recap all the stuff I got from the Mid-Ohio Valley Penturners Gathering that I attended this past weekend. It was a great time. I met a lot of awesome people, and I also picked up some goodies. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and bring in for a closer look and see what we got. Let's go. All right guys, here we are. I'm gonna film this one from behind the camera. That way you don't have to look at my ugly mug for the entire time, but rather you can check out what I got at the Mid-Ohio Valley Pen Turners Gathering. It was in Belpre, Ohio. And again, like I earlier I said earlier, it was a lot of fun. I met a lot of great people, made a lot of great connections, and it was just overall a great time. There were great sessions and I can't wait to go back next year. So to get this party started, there are a couple bowl and platter ba bl platter blanks back there. There's a Bradford pear bowl blank as well as a walnut bowl blank. There's also a couple walnut platter blanks back there. I also got a group of assorted burls that I'm hoping to cast with. Those are all from Benny Watkins. He has some great stuff, so if you're looking for pen blanks or wood or anything like that, make sure you check him out. He's got a lot of good stuff. Next, I'm gonna move over here, and I picked up a Zen pen kit. There we are. I picked up the Zen and the bushings for it. It's a magnetic pen kit, and I, I can't wait to try it. It'll be new for me, so I'm always looking for new kits. I also picked up some ink for my kitless fountain pen that I made, as well as some Abernet. Abernet is a type of sandpaper that I have been wanting to try for a while, so I saw it at the show and decided to pick some up. Moving up the line, here's where I got a bunch of blanks. I got a Patterson Grant True Card blank. I also got a New England Patriots pen blank, as well as a Cleveland Indians pen blank. Let me see if I can show these real quick. Here's the True Card blank by Patterson Grant. Can't wait to turn that one. Here is the New England Patriots. Go Pats and Cleveland Indians. The Cleveland Indians blank and the New England Patriots blank were cast by Jim Swank. I've been wanting to get a couple of those for a long time, so I, I met up with him at the show and was able to get my hands on a couple of those. I have a couple blanks here, We the People and the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, I don't remember exactly uh, who had these ones, but they are going to be fun to turn. Here's an Andrew Amtower Steampunk Hybrid Resin Burl blank. This one's gorgeous. I can't wait to turn this one. This one will be a Zen as well. Um, yeah, I can't wait to turn this one. can't wait to turn them all, to be honest. I picked up this pen blank from Harry Matthew. It's the uh, American themed eagle. There we go. So we have that. And then I also got a blank that comes with a certificate of authenticity from Jason Rose. Jason Rose was the guy who hosted the show. Here is the blank. It actually goes this way. See if we can get a good picture there. This is a certificate of authenticity. Um, this is a Marine Corps Iwo Jima blank. So this will be a fun blank to turn as well. Honestly, they're all fun. I don't know that there's ever been a, a blank that's not fun. Continuing on the blank um, 
path, I was able to pick up this guy in a door prize. This was donated by Wooden Odd Oddities on Etsy. So I can't wait to work with that one. And then I also got a couple faux Damascus steel blanks from Braxton Frankenberry. Here's a faux Damascus steel blank that he has. And then he also has a bloody Damascus. So it's got some red in there. So I'll turn these at some point. Got some curly maple pen blanks. We got these just for being at the show. And then I went to Tim McKenzie's booth. He has the diamond cast booth. And I picked up these nebula blanks. It's really hard. The camera doesn't do a great job of picking it up, but there's little flecks in there that really make these blank shine. It looks like there's some red, there's some blue, there's some purples in there. So these things will be fantastic to turn. Additionally, I got a scarlet and gray blank from Brandon Steele over at Steel Pens. There's, there it is, steelpens.com. I'll turn this one as well. And then I also, along with getting all of the fun blanks, I completed my Caster's Choice set of mica powders. Brian Blum is the owner of Caster's Choice, and he has come out with this line of micas. I believe there are 30 colors now, and if you count the Mid-Ohio Valley Pen Turners Gathering color, that's 31, but that was an exclusive for the show, so officially there are 30 colors. I was able to pick up the Platinum Silver, the Paradise Blue, Raspberry Pink, Antique Gold, Spruce Green, Bronze, Violet, Antique Copper, and the Mid-Ohio Valley Pen Turners Gathering colors. So that is that affords me uh, all 30 colors. I'm super excited now that I have that I have all 30 colors and I can't wait to continue casting. And I can't wait to continue casting because while well, I just got the burls that I just showed you, I'm gonna put those in some of the castings. I'm also gonna be able to do some other fun castings. I got a Jissy mold. I got two Jissy molds from P-Town Subby. There they are right there. And then I also got four of the individual, oops, sorry guys, four of the individual pen blanks, uh, for the individual pen blank molds. And then I also got a tube rolling jig from P-Town Subby. This tube rolling jig allows me to put a tube right here and a label on the bottom and then I can have a straight edge to make sure that when I roll labels onto tubes for tube in, ca for tube in label casts, I know that my label will be straight on the tube and it won't be all weird and wonky and, and, and whatever. So I can't wait to start using those molds. I'm pretty sure I'm actually gonna put those molds to use right after I finish shooting this video. So that's why I'm gonna try and get this going a little bit. We're almost done here, but I swapped some stickers at the show. This is Turning Prayers, Holly Fry. She does some amazing work. She has a group on Facebook. Go check out Turning Prayers on Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description below to that group. Again, she does some awesome work. She's a good friend and uh, she does some awesome work, like I said. I was part of a pen swap, so we we got in a circle and then passed a we basically brought a pen that we made to the swap. We passed around the pens until someone said stop, and this is what I got in the swap. It's my first click pen that I've ever had that's of any nice quality. The here is a it, it's a bullet pen, but additionally this blank here is deer antler and it looks gorgeous it just looks 
fantastic. I love the way it writes and this is a solid pen. So that was exciting. And then finally, I got the Nova Pen Jaws. So I've been drilling my blanks on the, on the drill press. And now that I have my Jacobs Chuck, now that I have the Pen Jaws, I can put the blank in the Pen Jaws on my Chuck and I can start drilling my blanks at the lathe so I can reduce blowout and I won't have to adjust my drill press so much because my drill press is older. It's a small bench top model. There's nothing wrong with it except it doesn't have the travel that I would like for some of the pens. So I'm really excited to start doing that. So here we are if we zoom out and pan across one more time. Here's all the goodies that we had. So we had some bowl blanks. We had some burls that I'm going to cut up into castable sizes. We got some ink. We got some sandpaper. We got pen kits. We got a bunch of blanks. We got some caster's choice mica powders. We got a tube rolling jig. We got a pen and a pen swap. We got some other molds. We got the sticker and we got the pen jaws. It was an expensive weekend, but I've been saving up for a, a while. So uh, while it did hurt, it wasn't too, too bad. Uh, I don't regret making any of these purchases. They were worth every penny. I can't wait to get to work and start working on some of this stuff. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share the video. That really helps me out. Go ahead and check out my website, cross cut dash creations.com. You can watch my YouTube videos there as well as check out the store that I have. I've got completed pens up for sale as well as pen blanks. So I've got items for the pen turner and the non pen turner as well as some other uh, merchandise. You can order t-shirts and other things like that. I am on Patreon Crosscut creations. If you want to support me that way, other than that, we'll see you next time.